So the next thing that I'd like to talk about are the strong bases. The definition of a strong base is really similar to the definition of a strong acid. A strong base is something that dissociates completely Again, meaning that it's not an equilibrium. It dissociates completely to produce OH minus. So one example is KOH. If you put solid KOH into water, it's going to completely dissociate. Remember, that means that it breaks apart into its cation and into its anion, and so it completely dissociates and it produces K plus and OH minus. Here's another example. Barium hydroxide, BaOH2, completely dissociates, breaks apart into the barium cation, Ba2 plus, and pay attention to stoichiometry here, it makes two OH minus ions. And there are a number of these strong bases. So we also have lithium hydroxide, Li plus and OH minus, and sodium hydroxide. And I think that these four are the, the ones that you will see the most often. But we don't have, I'm not going to give you a list of strong bases like I gave you a list of strong acids. So since we have strong acids and we have strong bases you might be assuming that we also have weak acids and weak bases which we do and the definition of weak acids and weak bases is that they do not react or dissociate completely so they exist in equilibrium with water. The products of the reaction are the same. The only thing that's different is the, the existence of equilibrium. So let's use um, one of our weak acids, HF. When you put HF in water and it reacts, it exists in equilibrium, not a forward reaction, and it produces F minus and H3O plus. And just the, the fact that the equilibrium exists, that's why we define it as a weak acid or acetic acid, CH3COOH. When we react it with water, it makes CH3COO minus and H3O plus in equilibrium. For some of our weak bases, HCN is, uh, oh, I'm sorry, that's another acid. HCN, another one of our weak acids with water, CN minus and H3O plus. A really common weak base that you're going to see is NH3 plus, or sorry, NH3 with water exists in equilibrium. This makes NH4 plus and OH minus. A thing to keep in mind when we're talking about weak acids and weak bases, and we will, we will expand on this more later. Uh, if we have something that is a strong acid or if we have something that is a strong base, the conjugate is going to be weak. So a strong acid is gonna have a conjugate base and a strong acid is going to have a weak conjugate base. A strong base's conjugate is going to be an acid, so a base will have a conjugate acid, and a strong base will have a weak conjugate acid. Strong acids have weak conjugate bases, strong bases have weak conjugate acids, and the opposite is also true. A weak acid, its conjugate is going to be a conjugate base, 
and a weak acid will have a strong conjugate base. A weak base is going to have a strong conjugate acid. So the relationship between an acid and its conjugate is just always total opposite. If you have a strong acid, it turns into a weak base. If you have a strong base, it turns into a weak acid. If you have a weak acid, it turns into a strong base. If you have a weak base, it turns into a strong acid. For all of these relationships, we're changing from weak to strong and from base to acid or acid to base or strong to weak.